Good evening, everyone. As you can see, I'm in the middle of feeding the tarantulas. Now, that's my very cruise red rum. That's Galaxy. That one I don't show that much because obviously there's other cages on top of them. But look at that spider. <laughs> gorgeous, man. Absolutely gorgeous spider. Very, very beautiful. I'm very proud of this spider. I have them in this um big. I like this cage. Like they're in a nice size cage. And there's a couple pieces of bark on top of there for me cleaning other cages. Here, I gotta set y'all down for a second. I gotta put some add some water in there though. Gonna do some watering. No, we're not tacking the water. Make sure you mind there, Bobby. But yeah, so it's feeding night and watering night. Feeding and watering all the tarantulas and the reptiles. It's been a while since I did a video, feeding video with the reptiles and stuff. Tomorrow, I finally got a bunch of soil and stuff. So tomorrow I will be literally, I'm redoing all the cages. All the cages are being redone, all being cleaned. And like, I just want to get everything all done with everybody. Honestly, when it comes to the animals, and it comes to actually um, cleaning don't know in their cages. Yeah, I spot clean every week, obviously. But this time I'm doing full cage cleanings, like full cage cleanings. So because of that, I want to make sure everybody's well, is well fed, especially the, the tarantulas and the snakes, because I wish not to get attacked or bit or any of that stuff while I'm um, trying to make sure their cages look pretty. Can't have any of that stuff. So, that's why I make sure everyone's fully fed. I gave Shiva my um, Honduran milk snake. I actually gave her a bigger mouse today. She sat there and played with it for a minute. And I wasn't sure at first, I was kind of scared. Maybe it was too big. But my good girl ended up doing it after she got done playing with it for a little bit. I don't know why she was playing with it. But she decided to finally eat the freaking thing. I was so scared. She had me so worried. Yeah, I like to dump their water out into the corner. It doesn't matter because, I mean, you know, I like to clean the water bowls as I feed them. Because I don't like to wait on the water. Obviously, I don't like waiting on the water dishes. I like to make sure they have clean water 24-7. And we see all little one ram. That's okay, though. That ain't right on the cage. Is that sushi? I think that might be sushi. But I have a couple of Mexican red legs. But I didn't run <laughs> it right on their cages as I rehoused them. Like a ding-dong. I think that's sushi. Sushi is one of the smaller Mexican runnies. So that's got to be sushi. I do have a booklet with everybody's names, obviously. I fed everybody over here, like my my Percy colors out, but I can't really see her because Venus, because she pooped on the cage. This is what I'm saying. I gotta go in and thoroughly clean all their cages. Like it is gonna be a thorough cleaning, and then we're gonna see who we have to. Hi, baby. We're gonna see have to do upgrade. Upgrade's gotta be done. Um, it's gonna be all kinds of stuff. Which is going to take all day tomorrow to do. And tomorrow's my only day available because Friday I have an appointment. And then, of course, over the weekend, like always, I have shops growth. So, yeah, tomorrow's going to be so busy. But I'll show you guys the process step by step of what I do when it comes to how I thoroughly clean their cages. Because it's not just uh, wiping down the enclosures and putting in fresh bedding, because I do, I do like to change out the, at least the top layer, I take the animals out, oh, I wasn't expecting you to be awake, why are you awake, Nick he's awake, I wasn't expecting him to be up at all, are you hungry my boy, hi Lestat, normally Lestat's sleeping by now, it's like 10 o'clock at night, all but 10 o'clock at night, are you hungry, okay, hold on, I gotta keep the light on so I can see where he's at because he will try to escape. He's one of my escape artists. I'm gonna take him out again because once a month I take him out of his cage 
and I do detail cleaning. Because normally I just, obviously I just slide that out, open the door, go in, clean up his poops and everything. But as you see, he pulls his vines down and a bunch of other stuff. I got a couple of different cork barks and plants that I'm adding to his cage. And that's another thing. I like to change their setup and the way their cages are. So a lot of their cages are going to be looking different, but the same animals are going to be in the cages. Hi, little buddy. Everyone's coming out. They know what time it is. They know it's food time. Everybody's like, feed me, because there's Dream. Dream's out. Chase is out. And then Beta. I think I saw Beta, too. Yeah, everybody's out. I'm doing the tarantulas first, and then and the tarantulas and snakes first, and then I'm doing the reptiles with feedings here. So... Let's get back to feeding the animals. Here's Wednesday. I don't show Wednesday that much. But there's, there's my girl, Wednesday. Costa Rican strike me. She has a nice little cage. Think about upgrading her to 10 gallon. Where I'm probably gonna upgrade her to like a front opening and stuff. And Raven over there, just chilling. Should I get everyone fed? I forgot that. <laughs> I went downstairs to grab something because I needed an extra catch cup and I started feeding everybody and I forgot to resume filming. Cypher right there. Oh, we came out. Hi. There's coconut. Obviously, that's my curly hair. Here is my orange tree spider. They're getting rehoused. I had to get more dirt and stuff. Fortunately, the pet store didn't have any arboreal cages I wanted for, for them. I don't know if it's a boy or girl, honestly. But, I don't know if I should just stick it in a huge critter carrier into like I did with Mango. Cause that's what I did with Mango until I got um, one of these for them. Because Mango, Mango hides down here. I don't know why. For a tree spider, they like to hide. I have cork bark. I'm actually taking that plant out in the back and I have cork bark I'm gonna put in the back for it because I didn't have cork bark that I wanted and I was scared because this thing was wobbly I had it up against the side of the glass and of course it kept banging every time I moved it so I put it flat they stay down there so I got cork bark that's gonna go up so I can go up the reel and obviously do whatever it wants but honestly I'm thinking about putting my purple tree spider well, this one anyways. I'm thinking about putting them in a nice big long one of these. Just so it has room to stretch out until, I don't know, until I get, until I get one of these or a front opening. Cause I don't know what to, honestly, I don't know what to do. But I want, I want it to have space to stretch out. But as you see, they're, they're freaking huge. And that freaking tiny thing, like, I have more slings and stuff coming too. So don't worry about that. We have a lot more slings coming. He has all our slings. They got our slings. They're not even really slings. They're all jumpers up there, except for three of them. <laughs> three of them is because I have the baby Trinidad still. I have the Cuban bronze baby, and then I have my red and white Kaya still. They're all still little. So, because even my pumpkin patch I upgraded. So all of them up there are basically a lot of the jumper babies. Or some of the just regular jumpers like um, Princess and stuff. So I don't... Do you guys? We need more baby slings. Look at that cutie. I think she got one. Is that Maddie or Yoshi? That's Maddie. The one with the green regrown tail is Maddie. And the other one's Yoshi. I'm, gonna, I'm redoing their whole setup too. They're all being redone. They're going to be put into a front opening like that one. The only reason they're in this one temporary is, like I said, you can't get cages. That's why I had to stick the, the flying gecko because I stuck in here. And I had to put the cardboard all around because of how high the dirt is. The dirt is up high. 
I had the dirt to like right up here. But the problem is there was no I got lucky with that cage in that cage and that's because I found that the lady down the street that used to rescue reptiles, she was getting rid of cages and I got those two big ones. So I got lucky on those. That one I found online. And I haven't seen any lately online, like like I showed you guys before at my pet store. For some reason, you can't get the front openings. And you can't really order the big ones online. You can get, of course, these ones. You can get some smaller ones if you're lucky. If they have them, they ain't sold out half the time. But that's why these guys are in the chameleon cage, because that's all they sell around here for arboreal. And they're doing fine. They're doing beautifully in here. It's fine for flying geckos, but certain species you can't do that with. And obviously you can't do that with tarantulas. So, and these guys, I'm probably I'm probably going to do the same thing. I'm probably just going to get one of the size down from this one. If not just the, uh, this one. Because it is pretty big. It is big. Um, but I'll probably get something like this. I'm going to have no choice. I'm going to have to get something like this for these two. Because I don't know what else to do. Right now they're in a they're in a ten gallon, so but anyways, we'll go back to feeding tarantulas because they are hungry and we only have a couple left. This is all I have left to do. So honestly, I ain't gonna lie, I forgot to record everything, but everyone's starting to come out. So we're gonna start seeing everybody now because food. They have food. So I'm gonna feed everyone real quick and then we're just gonna turn the lights off and then we'll go around filming everybody eating and then checking their food. Hopefully they put on a good show for us uh, going after their prey. So I'm going to hurry up and feed these guys and I'll be right back. Baby Jumper got its little meal. That's so cute. That is just too adorable. The babies are catching their food. I was just sitting there. Shimmy baby jumpers. Oh, there's one. This is its feeding container. I'm actually in the middle of real redoing. Totally redoing there. They're all going to new containers and pods. Separating them all. Look at that. Yeah, so them all separated, but they're all going to go into single containers now. Here's the other one right around. I got them everything. Where did it just go? I just saw it. Oh, it jumped down. Oh, snap. Oh, there it goes. Oh, climb back up. A little dot, black dot over there. Some of them are in... Well, that sucks. I like this one. This one I rehoused. Recently, as you see, it got little plants and dirt. Right there. It's on its little plant back there eating. I'm actually ordering these guys. There's more to the baby jumpers. There's a lot in this, this container. But I ordered a bunch of tarantula cribs for... All these jumpers. But yeah, look at all them catching their their food. So terrible. Feeding frenzy. Everybody's getting fed. Obviously, I'm downstairs in the basement. Feeding, I fed everyone down here. Working on feeding throughout the whole downstairs and upstairs. Look how big this one's gotten. Okay, I'm gonna. You know, this camera doesn't like to focus at all. Look at that. Big spider. That is my Baja Gray Bird Eater. It's Peony. She actually caught a cricket. She's singing in cricket. I know my big boy's out. Lotus is always out. Always out. There's Lotus. 
This is not eating right now. I gotta clean their water dish. I just got home from the pet store. So, trying to see. Oh, great. They knocked a plant over. I'm not reaching my hand in there and fixing that. There's no freaking way. There's my camera doing for all. I don't know why this camera's not focusing. Why is Leona? And honestly, hold on. I have to redo that. Well, now it wants to focus as soon as she goes in. Ridiculous. Sorry, Leona. Well, that's okay. We'll catch her in a minute. I'll wait till she comes back out and catch her back on camera. And then way down in her burrow. It's my curly hair tarantula. Way down there. It's a coconut. You can't say it now. It's okay. Then we're going to go upstairs and feed the rest of the animals. So I'll see you guys in a little bit as we head upstairs with some crickets. So I just rehoused the baby. The baby curly hair. Besides feeding the children. Oops. Boop. See how big our baby got real quick? That is Hades. Hades got big. So I rehoused them. To a nice. They have so many different points. I knew it. <laughs> and that's why I trust. I don't trust this one at all. They're quick and slick. I knew it. That's why I stuck the cup in there and just covered up right there. I rehoused our Balfouri. There's our little Balfouri. And the bell for you was so tiny. Now look how big they got in. Yeah, see, it's a skittish little thing, though. That's the problem with bell for you. So I'm going to wait. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm actually going to wait until they're calmed down more. And then I'm just going to let them end up settling down. But I just wanted to show them. When they calm down and burrow down, um, I'll take the cup out. Cause obviously, I can't get out right there a second because they're up top being bad. But see, I made a really cool um, burrow system for it to go underneath these logs. So I'm really excited to see what it ends up doing. But yeah, I rehoused these two into a lot bigger critter carriers. But they're not going to stay in critter carriers. I'm, I'm going to get a bunch of these front opening enclosures. For, and a lot of these tall ones for obviously the boreal babies. And as you see, the the star, or toga uh, baboon uh, covered everything up. So I'm going to probably take those crickets out. Because I think they're about to uh, molt. But as you see, Peony Peony did an awesome burrowing system. I'm surprised that plant's still alive. That plant is actually still alive. But anyways, um, I rehoused these two. They've gotten a lot bigger. So then they're the large, that, well, the extra large critter carriers. And like always on camera, it looks... Everything always looks freaking smaller. Everyone says shit looks bigger on camera. No, it does not. Sorry, YouTube. I said the yes word. I said the yes word. It is 2 a.m. I'm tired. Sorry, guys. Obviously, they say Sapphire. Sapphire's in a bigger, way bigger cage now, as you saw. Sapphire's actually over on the, in the 10, in a 10 gallon, actually. Oh, no. I have Sapphire upstairs in one of these cubes. It's the other one that I have in the 10 gallon. Because that's right. It's the other bird eater. I have so many bird eaters. I forget who I put where. But for right now, I'm going to um, house these two down here. Because I'm going to be redoing my room. Completely redoing the room. Even though I'm going to start packing everything up. Because I am moving into my new house soon. And the problem is the temperatures, temperature changes, like always. The temperature's already changing way too fast. And the problem is, they can only build so much in one day. They can only get so much work done in one day. With building the reptile room and the tarantula room at my new house. And the problem is, the temperature's already changing drastically. I mean drastically. I actually have to start putting uh, warmer bulbs in. For these guys, because it's going to start getting colder. Look how big freaking Lotus is. I think Lotus is about to be moved into a 10-gallon. 
They're in a five gallon, man. And just look at that size, that monstrosity size. Even though, yeah, he's a male, and you don't want to give males too much space, because they can wander and walk themselves to death. I'll probably keep him in here. I've had him five years. He's one of the first males I got. I got a lot of uh, spiderlings all at the same time. Now, I didn't lose my adult feather like that boon recently, but that thing was... That thing, that baby, that baby was really old. I'm not gonna lie, that one was really old. I bought an old adult. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I did it anyways because people were complaining that they didn't know what to do with it because they don't like handling baboons. I took it anyways, knowing damn well it's gonna die soon anyways, but I did it. I had a good time with me. Who did I put in here? That's right, I put Sana in here. Sana, my darling Sana. Sana is also one of the first ones that I got as a sling. Um, they didn't come out yet tonight, but they did decide to poop all over the glass last night. So I have to clean that. But I'm I'm not gonna do that when I'm tired. Never clean a tarantula's cage or any animal's cage when you're tired, because that can go very wrong and very deadly. It's bad enough I'm actually rehousing these guys. I probably shouldn't be doing that either. Actually, I wanted to show you guys real quick. That I have a new enclosure set up. Because don't worry, coconut didn't die. I'll show you coconut real quick. Coconut's doing beautifully. They're doing beautifully. In their enclosure. In their five gallon enclosure. They're down in their burrow down there. See, there's a little footsies. Oh, there's a footsies. I just see some crickets and for her. She's doing beautiful. Very beautiful. She has so many different tunnel systems. But anyways, I have a surprise coming up this week. We have a new baby coming. And it's a special morph. It is a baby. So, don't worry. She's... Eh. She is a... She is a special morph. I'm trying to think of a name for it. So, and of course, I'm not going to put water in yet or food in yet. I'm going to put another plant right here. So... But we're starting it off in a nice enclosure. Everything fresh, brand new. I really like get something to get these water spots off. We have really hard water. And my mom's going to finally put, get some softener stuff for our water. But until then, I always use spring water and other stuff for the animals. But when I actually clean the, the glass, I used the, the tap water. Our tap water has a Brita filter. But even for some reason, even with the Brita filter, it's, the water's still hard. But that's why when I give the, the animals water, I have cases of spring water. But we got a special baby coming, special morph. I will say what breed it is. It is a leopard gecko, but it's a special leopard gecko. And it's a, a morph that normally I try to get morphs that are normally the ones that people end up forgetting about. They don't want after time because all these other new morphs are coming out so all the other morphs become boring to everybody and then there's all these babies they're just sitting there not really being sold because nobody wants them anymore because they're not, not the new fad that's not what's in it's a baby toy so i normally stick with like like my crusties are harley quinns and dalmatians and flame crested geckos they were the biggest thing a couple years ago, now they're not, but I like to stick with the poor babies that everyone starts to forget about. But this time I did splurge a little bit and got a morph that is actually more recently bred. But I can't give away too much of what it is. But as soon as they come in, which would, like I said, will be this week, I get them in like four days. So, I'm excited. So, when they come in, I will show you guys our darling little baby. And then we can think of a really good name for them. So I'm super, super excited for it. And then we have a lot of rehousings coming up. Because I'm about to get a bunch of these tanks. I have my one tree spider. Mango has to be... Is it mango that I have to rehouse? No, I just read the mango. See, I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. But I have to rehouse the tellies. The tellies is getting a lot bigger... Um, I do have, I think it's one of the purple tree spiders that I have to rehouse. 
Yeah, I think it's one of the purple ones. It's either, uh, I think it's, um, Viola that needs rehoused. But anyways, I gotta rehouse her. But yeah, we're done with so many different upgrades. And all kinds of new stuff is coming up. And I'm waiting for Avery's cage. Avery's cage is almost done being built, so soon the iguana will be going into a huge, huge freaking enclosure. And I have a 12-foot enclosure for her being built at my new house. And I will be getting a second iguana. Hi, baby. I'll be getting a second iguana. <laughs> Which will be Lucy, who will be my green iguana. She would be getting a completely different cage as well. But Avery doesn't really stay in her cage except for at bedtime or if I'm at the store. But actually, Avery went to the store with me today. So the one went running around all day with me today. That diamond's so pretty. And some pretty beta fish. These are quarantine tanks because I'm in the middle of buying new filters and I'm upgrading their little homes. So I got them in these cute little cube beta tanks, these quarantine tanks. I call them quarantine tanks. Even though people just use them on a regular basis for their fish, but as you saw with Jupiter over here, I actually keep them in filter tanks. I just got those two new tanks. So because I got the new tanks, and now new setups are being done. <laughs> Look at Echo. Echo's probably pissed right about now because I turned the light on. So I'm going to go upstairs and take Baya upstairs. Baya was over here, but now these two down here because they're bigger cages. Take Bay upstairs. I actually have there's a molt. I'm gonna go feed the Cuban bronze baby and my other red and white red and white baby. So we're gonna go upstairs real quick. So I'll see you guys in a little bit.